Games to the sport itself. And with just 122 days to go until the start of the Games, it's time for our latest instalments on the athletes hoping to bring back medals for Great Britain. And one sport which has proved lucrative in recent years is boxing, with Audley Harrison winning a gold in 2000 and Amir Khan a silver four years later. Our reporter Dave Warner has been to County Durham to meet a young man hoping to follow in their footsteps. Sitting down to eat, this could well be the scene at any breakfast table anywhere in the country. But this family are a little different, and in five months' time they could all be doing exactly the same, but in China. The Saunders are County Durham's foremost boxing family, with Bradley, a light welterweight Olympic title contender, Dad Jeff, his coach, Mum Tracy, his secretary, brother Jeff, training partner, and son Leighton, the next possible champion. They've even got their own gym, and all are hoping Bradley can achieve his dream. He'll come back in the middle. I'm 100% positive of that. Whether it be bronze or gold. I mean, it's, everyone says about the draw. The draw doesn't bother me. It's how you feel on the day and how you box. I mean, the judging is going to be fair, so uh, everything's going to be OK. Oh, do you know, I just don't, going to the Worlds was bad enough um, and, you know, there wasn't a feeling like it. Just qualifying and then when he got a medal as well, that was just something else. Um, but the Olympics is just a dream, isn't it? Yeah, it's everyone's, everyone's um, really. If you want to be a boxer, what you call in life, obviously, to be world champion or to win. You had said that when I was a kid, to be the best. And obviously, I'm proving that now. I'm just going to the Olympics now, which is, that's when you get the top of your game. That's just it's, it's the only thing you can do, really, it's as far as you can go. As a light welterweight, Saunders believes he is in one of the toughest weight categories at the Olympics. But he secured a bronze aged just 21 at the World Amateur Championships in November and believes he's every chance. Those kids, these last past ones there, who had obviously beat, who had obviously been to the Olympics before, and those kids who got medals in the Olympics who didn't get nothing in the World Championships. So if I could go off that and go off, obviously if I can do them with the right performances again, there's no reason why I can't get a medal. It's going to cost the family around £10,000 to go out to Beijing, but all intend to travel, as they believe it's his destiny. Well, he had his first pair of gloves on when he was one. Um, we've got photographs of him. And uh, coming from a boxing background, his, his, his dad used to box. I mean, I remember years ago, sitting by the ringside, just the only used to be myself from Jeff Gore. He used to go and... Uh, and, and go to a box now, I'll be there supporting him. So it, it's gone back quite some years, actually. Definitely from an early age, and I knew he'd stick to it. I mean, he's been around boxing all his life, watching me friends box, watching me box, you know what I mean? His brothers have all been involved in boxing. So it, it was just there for him all the time, and I knew it would come out in the end, you know what I mean? The dedication, the dedication, and the dedication. To say you're proud, is, um, and you just, there's no feeling like it. Uh, proud just doesn't even describe it. And as I say, we've waited 12 years for a chance like this. It's just, you know, I think it's my dream, not Bradley's. Bradley has broken his hand and is recovering from an infection, but believes he'll be back stronger than ever for the Olympics, thanks to help from his coach, Terry Edwards, and the support of his family. And they're hoping that there's yet another member of the Saunders clan who'll soon be providing the knockouts. David Warriner, Satanta Sports News, Sedgefield, County Durham. Fantastic. And we've got some...